Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, well, there is a um, change now for the Windows subsystem for Linux, both for Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you actually wanted to use it, or if you are thinking of maybe checking it out, um, it's easier than ever now to install. Microsoft has said it's now uh, in the general availability mode, so that means that no more going into you know the settings or clicking an option to turn it on or something like that. All you have to do in Windows 10 and Windows 11 now is simply to go to the Microsoft Store. And the first thing that you do is you install the Windows subsystem for Linux. So you can actually install it directly from here now. So uh, Windows subsystem Linux. You'll see it appear as an, uh, an app in the store right here. You install this, and once this is installed, you'll need to have a um, distro installed for it. So, for example, once you have it here, you can say Ubuntu, and then go and get the Ubuntu um, basic distro to uh, have in the command lines and so on for the subsystem. And you'll be up and running with uh, pretty much available all the Linux uh, command lines and it even enables apps uh, for the Linux that has graphic user interfaces. So uh, once that is done, all you have to do is type the uh, WSL commands, WSL, which is the Windows subsystem for Linux, and you'll have your uh, command line command prompt to do whatever you want. There's a quick setup that's going to happen first, but once the quick setup is done that you entered a username and a password, all is going to be there and working so it's uh, really cool to have this available so for example dear for directory and so on the command lines are all available also there so this is um, basic but um, could be useful for developers and uh, for any command line prompt and uh, don't forget that you can actually have if you want in your file explorer even a linux um, folder for Ubuntu. There's a, uh, and you both are actually going in and out, so basically you can actually interact with a Linux folder in your subsystem through the File Explorer if you need to copy files, for example. Makes it easy. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.